Welcome back to Infigan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and tricky quartic equation I would say. Equation is 4x minus 10 whole square plus 2 times 2x minus 3 whole cube plus 2x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to 32. We have to find out 4 solutions. So let's get started by considering first bracket itself. You can see it is having 4 and 10. So 2 is common. Once I will take 2 common, it will come as 2 square. So let me write here 4 times 2x minus 5 whole square plus 2 times 2x minus 3 whole cube plus 2x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to 32. Now Substitution is clearly on 2x minus 3. If I will give substitution, then 2x minus 5 I will write t minus 2 and 2x minus 1 will write t plus 2. So that would be little complicated. So let's do one thing, one algebraic manipulation. I will divide this whole equation by 16. See what will come out. 16, 16 divided by 16 and RHS also 16. See it will come out 2x minus 5 whole square over it would be 4 now. So we will write here 2 square plus I can cancel 2 and 16 by writing over there 8. So I can write here 2x minus 3 whole cube divided by 2 cube. Now third term I will write 2x minus 1 whole power 4 divided by 2 power 4 and right hand side would be 2. Now I will club our denominator in the bracket which is written in the numerator because powers are same 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4 and denominator 4. So I will write 2x minus 5 over 2 whole square plus 2x minus 3 over 2 whole cube plus 2x minus 1 over 2 whole power 4 equal to 2. Now let's divide. So it will become x minus 5 over 2 whole square plus x minus 3 over 2 whole cube plus x minus half whole power is 4 equal to 2. Now this looks comparatively easier equation. Here substitution is also easy. I will consider the highest power as our substitution. So I will consider x minus 1 by 2 as t. Let me write here x minus half equal to t. So x minus 3 by 2 I will write t minus 1 and x minus 5 by 2 I can write t minus 2. So our equation will convert into variable t. So let me write t minus 2 whole square the very first term I will write plus t minus 1 it is x minus 3 by 2 so t minus 1 whole cube plus t power 4 equal to 2. Now you can see once I will expand this it will convert into convenient quartic equation. Let me expand a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab. Then a minus b whole cube. So I will write a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Then plus t power 4 equal to 2. Let's take all the term to one side and then sum up. So I will write equation would be t power 4. Then we are having single t cube. So it would be t cube. Then we are having minus 2t square minus 3t square and then we have got first term 
t square so minus 2t square then we are having minus t then we are having in total 3 minus 2 it is 1 equal to 0 now this is one conventional quartic equation and see once i will divide this equation with t square it will convert into reciprocal equation as you can see t cannot be equal to 0 t is not solution of this equation so let's divide this equation divide by t square so i will write t square after division plus t minus 2 minus 1 over t plus 1 over t square equal to 0 now i will write first and last term all together so t square plus 1 over t square second and second last term all together so it will become plus t minus 1 over t and then minus 2 equal to 0 now substitution time t minus 1 over t i will substitute as a let's call a so i will be writing that equation first t square plus 1 over t square plus t minus 1 over t minus 2 equal to 0 now let us consider t minus 1 over t equal to suppose a now squaring both sides because we need t square plus 1 by t square also so once i will square both sides it will become t square plus 1 by t square minus 2 equal to a square or t square plus 1 by t square equal to a square plus 2 let's put this value to our equation so equation will become a square plus 2 this bracket plus our substitution t minus 1 over t is a so here i will put a minus 2 equal to 0 so plus 2 and minus 2 will be over a square plus a equal to 0 take a common a plus 1 equal to 0 so from here we can conclude a equal to 0 and a equal to negative 1 now what is a it is t minus 1 over t let's substitute our substitution back so i will write here t minus 1 over t equal to 0 this is our value of a and minus 1 so now i will write t minus 1 over t equal to 0 this is our first equation and second equation would, would be t minus 1 over t equal to negative 1 two equations we will solve and remember what is our t t is x minus half so let's solve one by one t minus one by t equal to zero as t is non-zero or we can take lcm also so we can write like this t square minus one equal to zero add one to both sides t square is equal to one consider a square root so i will write t is equal to plus minus 1 and remember our substitution was t equal to x minus half this was our very first initial substitution and now i will write our second equation it was t minus 1 over t equal to negative 1 so if i will take lcm i will be writing t square minus 1 equal to minus t or t square plus t minus 1 equal to 0. So I will apply Shridrachar formula now. Minus b, so minus 1 plus minus square root b square. So 1 minus 4ac, so plus 4 divided by 2a, so 2. So it will become minus 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2 so this is our t value and here we are having t is equal to plus minus 1 now let's put back our substitution it is x minus half so i will consider first equation as x minus half equal to plus minus 1 
add half to both sides. So half plus minus one. Once I will consider plus sign, it will become half plus one. Half plus one is three by two, and half minus one is minus half. So two real values, two real solutions we are having from here. Now come to this second t value. Let me write. In next slide, minus one plus minus is square root five over two. Minus one plus minus is square root five over two, and t is x minus half. This is t equal to minus one plus minus square root five over two. So what I will do? I will add half to both sides. So x equal to half plus minus one plus minus square root five over two. So we can cancel this half and half. So what is left? That is our final solution: root five over two. So overall, we are having four solutions. So let me write x equal to three by two minus half. And then plus minus is square root five over two. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care.